Toward the end of the hall, he heard footsteps behind him and a voice. Hey, I want to talk to you. Yeah? The guy walked casually down the hall to him. He wore an overcoat and his long, clean, combed dark hair fell over his collar. You have a crush on my girl or something? You want some of that? Some of what? Don't talk about her like that. I'm only going to warn you once. She don't seem to mind how I talk, he said, with the kind of intonation you find in a personality local to Chicago. If they could, they'd wax him for a wax museum. So, maybe you ought to show her a little respect, Will said. Maybe you ought to act like a man. But, yeah? You gonna tell me how to be a man, little guy? What's your way to a woman's heart? Laying out another line, junkie? What? I don't do drugs anymore, buddy. So watch your mouth. You can't do anything for anybody if you can't respect yourself. What are you going to do, little guy? Will found it difficult to make an intelligible conversation out of brick for brains. The challenge was a nice distraction anyway. Listen, big guy, you don't know me, and you don't know her. You may think you're in now, but I can tell already she's done with you. She never gets jacked up like that unless she's horribly bored. What, and she's your friend? You two have pajama parties? You a fag, Will? You want me to fuck you up the ass? If you really want to know what I think you ought to do, then go fuck yourself. Will raised a fist. Who the fuck are you, anyway? He eyed the dude's dark hair and thought of scalps blowing in the wind and McCarthy's blood meridian, hanging and knocked about in the dusty breeze blowing through a frontier town in mid-19th century Texas. Then he wasted no time and swung on the dude. The guy grabbed him, wrestled him to the floor in the narrow hallway. He held the guy by the coat and landed a couple. Then the guy got an arm around his neck, pulled him down and smashed his head against the wall until he bled. And struggled up, checked the sleeves of his coat, and kicked Will back into consciousness. It was over before it started.